When I was in fifth grade at PS 234, I came to tour LREI with my parents. We sat downstairs in the cafeteria to discuss with Phil what kind of place LREI was. I was the only kid on the tour and I was nervous. So I poured myself a cup of tea to calm myself down. Shortly after, we toured the building. It was all really nerve-wracking. I was about to leave all of my neighborhood friends who I had been with since kindergarten. I had come a long way at PS334, and I was scared about what my future at LREI would be like. When the tour finished, we left the building. I quickly proceeded to the nearest garbage can, put my head over the edge, and threw up. <laughs> now, it was my mother's turn to be nervous. She was afraid that I had blown any chance for admission. It wasn't the most graceful first impression, but I am pleased to say that I, that I was accepted and started school shortly thereafter. Still, there I was, graduating from elementary school, my huge public elementary school, and going to middle school at the Little Red Schoolhouse. It sounded like a fictional place from a Dr. Seuss book. Soon I learned that although it was little and red, it generated many big ideas and colorful points of view. At LREI, the teachers tend to take a very hands-on approach to education. I learned about the Revolutionary War, not just by reading about it, but by going to Colonial Williamsburg and studying it firsthand. I studied Spanish for three years and then had the opportunity to speak it in our class trip to Costa Rica. I also learned English, math, and science. In my last year here, I discovered my, a love for photography, and I was encouraged by Karen to pursue it. Even more important than my studies were the relationships I have made with everyone in my grade. Long after I've forgotten Pythagorean theorem, I will remember all of the amazing times I've had with you guys. Congratulations, we did it, and in the words of one of my favorite childhood authors, Dr. Seuss, be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't.